What's up, everybody? Max Maldi 1516 here, and today I'm making a short, and I'm out here at my pool, and we're gonna test does Bolstrode sink or float? And he floats. There he go. What's up, everybody? What is up, everybody? Max Monty 1516 here, back again with another brand new Bachman item to show you guys. And this is my third narrow gauge engine. So, alongside Renee's, of course, I have Skrull Lowy and Peter Sam. But let's take a look at this guy. So, I'm really excited to finally get Renee's into the collection. I've been waiting on him for a couple months now, and I thought now was just a really good time to get him. So, I'll go ahead and move the instruction manuals over there. And of course, here he is in his plastic packaging there. And we'll just take him out like so. And here he is. Renee's looks fantastic. And I'm so, so happy to finally have this guy in the collection. And just a very good look at him there. Love the color. Love the detail. Bachman has once again just knocked it out of the park with their narrow gauge line. And I'm super happy to continue collecting this stuff. And there's going to be more on the way. So, yeah, there's, there's a look, good look at Renee's. And, uh, again, I just, I think he's stunning. Busy railways of Sodo, there are many different types of hard-working engine. They all want to be really useful. But sometimes, new engines are called on to help with special jobs. Engines such as Logan, who is a strong little shunter. Logan looks like a diesel engine, but is he a diesel? He looks a little bit like death, a little bit like dart, and a little bit like salty. But unlike diesel engines, Logan has a funnel, which tells you he is actually a steam engine, just like Thomas. So although he may look like a diesel, 
Logan is proud to help his fellow steam engines by making sure they have plenty of coal. He is a really useful engine. Welcome to Sodor, Logan. <laughs>